My name is Professor Dick Nambi, Professor of Education Technology, and I'm based at the University of Cape Town. I do have uh, some quite interesting journey because my um, original works, um, I did mathematics before doing computer science and then information systems, and uh, I practice in education technology. Um, and uh, I have spent um, quite some years looking at um, higher education. A number of years ago, I moved to the School of Education uh, um, to actually look at the use of technologies in, uh, in, in schools as opposed to just higher education. So, so I do look at education technologies in that sense, both from higher education and, uh, uh, and schooling. The, the objectives of the recently completed uh, workshop was that uh, academic staff at, uh, at NOTEC uh, needed to understand how technologies can be effectively appropriated for both teaching and learning. They remember the use of technologies is not just a question of uh, throwing technology at an educational problem. You need to understand not just how the technology works, you need to understand how to teach with the technology. There is pedagogy there, and the pedagogy, which is about the strategic ways of uh, teaching um, so that you can achieve learning, um, doesn't just happen. You need to acquire those kind of skills. One of the things that uh, was quite useful for this particular workshop was for educators to understand that um, they do have content knowledge. They are specialists in their fields. So uh, that is not contested. It is not contested the fact that uh, we are dealing with academic staff at NOTEC who are experts in their own respective fields. They need to move from just being experts to being able to know how to teach uh, that expertise. In the fact that one is an expert does not automatically translate into being um, effectively in the know-how on how to teach that content. So they do teach. Most of the experts have acquired the teaching uh, knowledges or, 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 or approaches uh, through experience. Uh, some of them do not have any teaching background, but they are experts who have actually um, ended up teaching. And uh, they, they do well in that regard. However, there is the technology component, which is about how well do you teach your content using technology? That is what is referred to as the pedagogical, uh, technological uh, knowledge. So it is the technological pedagogical content knowledge there, according to TPAC uh, work, which actually is emphasizes the, uh, the fact that you need to not only um, understand the ways in which um, you teach your content, you need to understand how you can teach with the technology. And that has been the focus of this workshop. So it was more about empowering academic staff to acquire uh, that kind of uh, special knowledge, uh, which is really required. My understanding as well is that uh, with the pandemic and the need for uh, institutions to uh, teach online and to support um, students uh, who are not necessarily always in face-to-face -face, uh, does require uh, special skills to do that. And that's what I came to ensure that I could uh, facilitate to empower academic staff to achieve that. It, this, this workshop was uh, uh, particularly significant for the simple reasons that uh, its focus was on ambiguous tools. The focus of the workshop was on the question of how do we 
make the most of what is already available to academic staff, what is already available in the hands of students. The, uh, the, the, it is one thing to actually uh, want to acquire a certain kind of skills. Um, and then on the basis of those kind of skills, it is not unusual for people to then say, look, we don't have the resources to implement these kind of skills. Um, so you acquire skills and then you lack the resources to implement the skills. This workshop was different. This workshop aimed to use the tools that were already in the hands of the two uh, teachers. It, it aimed to use those tools that academic staff already had. And also it, may, it, it was designed to ask questions about how do we teach when students have got devices in their own hands. And what this means is that uh, with the number of students um, having mobile phones in their hands, they do have uh, mobile phones as opposed to laptops. The focus of the workshop was on how do we teach with the devices that the students have in their hands. So one of the things that this workshop really focused on was to get uh, um, academic staff to begin realizing that there are tools, free tools that are available there. For example, the Google apps that uh, educators have access to. Some of those tools, some of the educators in the workshop were surprised that they have, already, oh, they have always had access to these tools, but they just didn't realize how effective they could be if they only knew how to teach with those tools. So that was why this particular workshop was significant. And the approach that was used to teach was different, was not the kind that uh, traditionally uh, people use in uh, traditional workshops. Traditional workshops uh, would normally uh, assume certain kind of knowledge that they think that participants are going to need and then they pre-package this kind of delivery uh, which they hope that participants are going to benefit and then and then the facilitator stands in front uh, to teach the participants what they have pre-packaged this workshop was different because we that's not how the workshop was run and that's not the workshop that's not how these workshops are run the approach was that uh, the participants identified what they wanted to know they identified what it is they thought they would benefit most from the workshop experts the educators are experts they know what they don't know and the effective way of, of delivering a workshop like this was to ensure that it being a multidisciplinary workshop, that educators from different disciplines, they had already known what they were struggling in with and what they could have benefited most in terms of wanting to know something. These educators, just on day one, they had to use tools, collaborative tools, uh, such as Google Docs, um, uh, to identify what they, each one as an individual, wanted to get from the workshop, things they wanted to learn. And the workshop was then immediately tailored to ensure that uh, academic staff learned what they came for on the first instance. And then it had to then go beyond what they came for. So the approach was make sure that uh, you meet the needs of participants so that you meet the needs for which they attended the, the workshop and then go beyond that. But don't just pre-package and assume that one knows. So that was the approach. And I, in my view, from the last day of the workshop, the feedback was um, a positive feedback. Uh, that most of the participants were able to echo the fact that um, the workshop far exceeded their expectations.